All right, Joseph Parker versus Michael Hunter. Before we start, this fight hasn't been made or anything like that, although there has been some whispers about the fight in the last couple of months, but nothing more than whispers, really. For me, this fight just makes absolute perfect sense for a number of different reasons. Let's start with a very basic reason first. They're both signed to Matram. That makes the fight easier to make. Not easy to make, but easier to make, right? There is no talks about a co-promotion or a cross-promotion. There is no talks about what network the fight will happen on. The fight can happen on either DAZN or even in the UK on Sky Sports. That's the first reason why I think this fight should happen. The second reason, and for me, one of the best reasons, is that both guys, I think, are two top 10 fighters. I think I'd done my top 10 list about, what, four or five days ago, and I think I had Joseph Parker, could be wrong here, but I think I had Joseph Parker either, either number seven or eight, sorry, and Michael Hunter, I think, as number 10. Perfect, right? That's what we wanna see. Two guys recognized in the top 10, yes, my top 10, but I think most people's top 10, getting on with each other. The other reason is that other guys in the top 10 are already matched up, right? We've got Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury, matched up. Kubat Pulev versus Anthony Joshua, matched up. Dillian White versus Povetkin, matched up. Usyk versus Chizora, matched up. The only two guys I think in the top 10 that aren't matched up right now and have no fights planned are Luis Ortiz and Andy Ruiz. Both of those guys, though, are coming off losses. Um, Andy Ruiz wanted to fight Kalnaki. Kalnaki obviously got beat by Helenia, so we wait to see what Andy Ruiz is going to do. Luis Ortiz, we haven't seen or heard from since he got stopped by Deontay Wilder. Plus, even if a Joseph Parker or Michael Hunter wanted to fight a Ruiz or Ortiz, both great fights, by the way, both of those guys are signed to PBC. So yes, those fights can happen, but we know those fights will be very, very difficult to make. Then you start looking outside the top 10 for other names that might be good matchups. Hergovic, we know he's got a matchup signed. Uh, Daniel Dubois, we know he's fighting Joe Joyce. We know Joe Joyce is fighting Daniel Dubois. So you look and you think, who can these guys fight that makes sense? And I can't think of anyone else that makes sense for either to fight. We know Joseph Parker's talking about fighting Junior Farr, I think in, um, is he from Australia or New Zealand? Does that really make sense, right? Hunter versus Parker makes perfect sense. Again, two guys in the top 10. Two guys, I think, that are a couple of fights away from getting in the world title mix. Unless all the belts get scattered, these guys ain't getting a world title shot soon. The only way their name gets in the mix is if they fight each other and then the winner's name would definitely be in the mix. 100%, right? If Joseph Parker beats Michael Hunter, you're not going to deny Joseph Parker for talking about a world title shot. You're not. Same with Michael Hunter, right? Michael Hunter beats Joseph Parker. His name's right in the mix as well, people. This fight makes perfect sense. The only stumbling block, there's only one, is that. Both of these fighters are going to want to get paid. I don't know if this fight happens in America, if they get paid enough money. Both of them really want to take on the UK guys over here because they know it's probably pay-per-view, right? If any of these guys fight Dillian White, it's pay-per-view, they get seven figures. Hence why Joseph Parker wanted to fight Chisora over here. Pay-per-view fight, seven figures. That's the only stumbling block. Apart from that, I can't see any reason why they wouldn't want to get it on. I know Michael Hunter wants this fight. We've seen it. He's tweeted about it. I don't know if Joseph Parker does. I think Joseph Parker has more to lose in this fight than gain. Whereas I think Michael Hunter, taking the scalp of a former world champion, has a lot to gain. And by beating Joseph Parker, he jumps, for me anyway, into the top six. I think Joseph Parker, a big name, sorry, will be a big name on his resume. What do you guys think? Do you think this fight makes sense? Or am I just fucking rattling on? Right, again, look at it. Everyone in the top 10, apart from Ortiz and Ruiz, has a matchup, in my top 10 anyway. Plus, Ruiz is coming off a loss, so is Ortiz. Makes perfect sense, guys. Let me know what you think. Peace. Guys, sorry, it's me again, I'm back. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, please like and share the videos. It really does help the channel a lot. And if you wanna support the channel, I do have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. All right, I'm done. Peace.